What's up guys, Coach Mike here from Fort CrossFit and Peak Athletic Development. Here to shoot part two of the series, how to read tempo. This, this one about tempo is gonna be training by feel. Okay, so a lot of people when they begin using tempo, training with it, they try to count while they're doing something. Like, so while they're doing their squat, they're trying to count. One, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three, Mississippi. One second pause, explode up, one second at the top. And that can become very confusing when you're doing a set for say, six reps, eight reps, 10 reps, whatever it is. It's very hard to count how long each rep is taking you and then count your reps at the same time. So the way that I use tempo when I train is I train with feel when I use it, okay? So what I mean by that is I know what it feels like to control something down for three seconds. I know what it feels like control down for five or to hold at the top for two, three seconds, whatever it is, pause in the bottom for one, one second at the top, two seconds at the top, whatever it is. Um, obviously in the beginning it's gonna be hard because you don't, you don't have the practice with it and you don't have the time, but over time and in the beginning you can still try to use this way, okay? So let's say in the beginning when you start training, you can look at the clock, you can watch yourself go down, three seconds, count it, whatever you want to do. But over time, it's much easier to know what three seconds feels like on the way down, okay? So you start going down, one, two, three, okay, that's three seconds, okay? The way I like to classify this is in this fashion, okay? So start so with one second, okay? Um, if it's on the way up, so say like a dumbbell row, when you're coming up, this is controlled. You're not gonna try to explode up, you're controlling it on the way up, okay? It's in the bottom of a squat, or a bench press, or push up. This is just a pause, okay? You're gonna stop all movement, and then fire back up, okay? If it calls for X, okay? Um, from there, you have, actually going back to that, on the way down, it's little control, okay? So say you're coming down from a push press or a press, you're not gonna control this down slowly, you're just gonna kinda bring that weight down, okay? Moving on, so two seconds, that's controlled, okay? That's controlled movement, okay? So it's on the way down, you're gonna go one, two, okay? You know what this feels like, it takes about that long, okay? Um, same thing in the hole, it's obviously you're gonna stop all movement for two seconds, okay? Um, after two is three, and what I use to classify that is slow, okay? It's slower than controlled, okay? So if it's on the way down to press, so you're going down. About three seconds, okay? From there we have four, and that's just slower. That's slower than three, okay? That's pretty obvious, but it's much easier if you know what three feels like, add a second to that, that's four, okay? Same thing with five, that's the slowest. Um, I usually don't recommend or prescribe too many people with a higher tempo than five seconds. In some cases, sure, um, but generally you won't see above five seconds. Um, so, if you can understand this and you learn to train and feel what this is like, you'll be much better off than trying to count your tempo each and every set. That being said, last thing I want to add, that's pretty much it. Um, with X, obviously, like I said in the last video, X is the intent to explode, okay? So, if it calls for X, you're gonna do your best to explode up, okay? Because in the last video, is your brain's intent. So if you are trying to explode, even if that bar is moving slow, it could be on a two second tempo, you're still gonna get the same effect as you would if you were actually exploding that way up. Okay, um, I don't know if there's anything else to add. If I come up with anything else, I'll make another video. All right, hope that helps, guys, um, and hope that clears up some questions you have, and all right, have a good day.